Another bitterly cold morning here at the Coast Temps. They're down into the teens this morning, so certainly want to bundle up. I'll let you know if any warmer weather is on the way coming up in just a moment. This is not a drill. The Lewis Swing Bridge is moving for real. Coming up, I'll have when and where to expect road closures. The fate of a free parking lot in the first town. The changes Lewis City Council is considering for the Roosevelt Inlet and other parking areas downtown. Preparation and caution. The U.S. moving its embassy out of the city of Kyiv in Ukraine. As the nation's president calls for a day of unity, still politicians searching for a diplomatic answer with Russia. WRDE Coast TV News today starts now. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News today. Your morning news starts right now. Good morning, Del Marva. What a wonderful weekday you're walking into. Always good to be optimistic, right? I'm Charlie Sakaitis. And I'm Mallory Metzner. It is Tuesday, February 15th. Thank you for joining us early here on WRDE Coast TV News Today. Now, part of the optimism I was referring to has to do with the Lewis Swing Bridge. After months of delays and a multitude of cranes and implements of construction being tried out, it seems that now... We know when it's going to move, and it's soon. That's right. Delta is set to lift the bridge out of the Lewis-Rehoboth Canal today. WRDE's Alyssa Bainbridge joins us live there in Lewis. Alyssa, what do we know so far? Yeah, Charlie and Mallory, yesterday we didn't even have a potential moving date on the calendar yet. And now here we are 24 hours later and the day that many have anxiously awaited since December is finally here. And so is that new crane I've been telling you about. Check that thing out. It is absolutely huge. Of course, the lights just went off right before I hit. It was really lit up a few minutes ago, but I promise you it is massive. And as far as today, we don't have a ton of details except that there is a new crane and Deldot says they are set to begin work on moving this thing at 9 o'clock this morning. But stay put, don't get too excited because it will be a very lengthy process. This time, roads along the route to the bridge's new home will be closed until 8 p.m. Those include Gills Neck Road between Schley Avenue and Black Marlin Drive, as well as a portion of the Junction Breakwater Trail between American Legion Road and Freeman Highway. Even though the bridge